Alright, um, welcome everybody. Well, welcome back to the Mothal Project. I hope you all uh, liked it. Like it. Um, today we're going to be working on uh, the back of it. So it's going to be like um, the back side of it with the uh, segments that we have been set up uh, before. So we're going to put... Yeah. There you go. Um, so we gonna put the segments now into full control. Um, this will um, will be done. So I think I'm hoping I'm hoping to get this thing done by today. Oh man. So yeah. So today's like today is a good day, but. Uh, I'm still a little bit, uh, a little bit. In, it sometimes gets a little bit confused when I'm trying to use it uh, when I have two chairs in one in one place. One chair for you know sitting near me, and the other one not for sitting near me. So when my nephew comes, I want to play some video games. So I have not moved that chair. So yeah, that's why. Yeah, the but it, that's why everything went a little bit uh, strange yet. Just there. Uh, all right, now well, let's get started on this. So we're gonna be working on this uh, segmentation of these uh, well feathers. So what I want to do is making a uh, making approach. Oh wow! Uh, I still need to double check something. I'm not entirely good with this. Ah, I see why I could not reach my thing. Oh. I'm not entirely good with this. Ah, I see. So yeah, um, Mike was a little bit too far away. Also, check, check, it's done. All right, good. Now I'm fully fixed. Uh, let's get started on this. So yeah, we're gonna need to make sure that this, um. This uh, f these feathers are connected towards the tail. Now, uh, how do I do that? That's the quick question. That's the quickest question. Probably, I want these feathers to be like that. I want them to move up like this, and then connect them towards this part over here. But to do that, they need to be correctly put because this is not like that. So I should then move uh, let's see. No. Yes. Yes. Alright, so I can move the entire till part, right? No, I cannot move the entire till part. I need to have the this one this one, this one. So this. So if I shut down these three, we have no two. All right. So I need to put them into a one whole thing. All right. Let's do that. So what I'm gonna do here is get the. Uh, um. No. This one. No. Not that. Yes, yes, no. I'm looking for one certain thing that I've put on, which why I'm concerned. No. Ah, look at that there it is. So I'm looking for these. Alright. So I'm looking for this one, this this one and this one. If I'm correct. Yes, I'm correct here. So now I want them to move up uh, I want them to be Unplugged, and I want them to put them into a group, quick group. So we're gonna call this the till end. Uh, 
All right. So we're gonna need to. Oh, hey, Blue. So we're gonna move these uh, because this is not naturally. This is not naturally done because you can see already that this output here is like. Oh my. Mm, I should not zoom this out a little bit. So yeah, the output here is like really done. Also, the only way to fix this is actually to mirror it. So I'm going to be selecting this. And I'm going to put this into a... Uh, select mirror. Um, mirror all mirror all layers. No, not mirror. Transform this layer horizontal, horizontally, if I'm correct. So let's see if that works. Yes, that works. Lovely. Now, it does fix. Now if we can look at it, now as, now as we can see, because this does not change anything, it just means that, you know, the it is more like a process of, you know, a till. So if I now put the till inside, you know, like right over here, like what I want it to be, right over here. I can then add like, you know, the stroke, so it's going to be like this, this is a good, this is a good place, and then that, yes, alright, that's good, this is good, this is good, this is lovely. Oh, hey Space Junk, do, and do androids dream of electricity, electricity sheep? Hm. I have no idea. Probably. Probably they do. So let's see. I need to move the whole picture if I want to do this correctly. Um, so that that whole bird is like over here. So yes, I need to now move this to right over here. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna be selecting. The other parts, so I'm not going to be moving that, but I'm going to be moving this. So, um, so I'm going to be selecting that. I'm going to be selecting the body. I need to select the body. I need to select the claws, and I need to select the legs as well. All right. So I need to select the wear hat, leg and hats and wings. All right. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. So, uh, because we need to move the whole thing, we need to move like this. This is really dip ah this is really difficult. Yeah, we need to move it all. So this I need to select this to win Now I have selected it all in the right position. Now I need to move the whole thing. Can I move it? Yeah, I can move it. Right. Well. What did I not push with me today? Everything that is not locked is now not let me. Oh boy. Uh, Control Z. Alright. Hold on a sec. I need to open these and then 
delock them all. So delock them, delock them. Apparently this thing does not want to delock themselves. So I need to do it myself. Uh, yes, this one did. That one did as well. Yep, there we go. Ring one. Two needs to be moved. Hat needs to be moved. And then the wing needs to be moved. So now it should be working. Uh, I hope so. I have no idea if it works correctly, but. Yes. Good, my fellow minions. What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? It's one of the claws that's not moved with me. Claw. No. Claw. Do it. Uh. Yes. So I need to do this back again. Back again. There we go. Now it should be moving. Yes, now it should be moving. With me. Now if I move this, the whole thing should be moving. Yes. All right. That's a little bit difficult. <laughs> totally lack spiking everything, but uh, all right. And we'll move that a little bit down. Yes, there you go. Easy as butter, uh, I think. Yeah, sure. It's as easy as butter. And uh, now I need to just select this and then select the move tool again. I can move this to the right direction. So, how far do I want to have this tool to be? I think like over here is a good. Right over there, that should be fine. So yes, um, sorry about the whole lag spike with the uh, image, but uh, it's a really hard thing to do. <laughs> it uh, it's like every single detail that needs to be repositioned, so every single pixel needs to be repositioned, which sometimes can get a little bit difficult. So yeah, we have now fixed that. Uh, good for me anyway. So let's fix the whole part now. Um, we have now done the paint layer 1, that is this, right? That's the part... No, that's not that part. Is the body the new part? Yeah, the body is the new part. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. We're gonna be working on this now. So, we want to... Uh, hold on, body. Yes, can I now get the... Yeah, yes, thank you. So, we want to at least hmm. So we have the tail, so that needs to be done like this. So we have like that, and we have like this on the outside. So what I'm now doing is actually trying to look for like how I'm gonna be making this body behave properly connecting to the tail which sometimes is a real pain in the ass because you know it sometimes changes up the whole perspective of the creature so I'm gonna be working on this part right now I'm gonna be looking for like clues upon how I'm gonna be doing this so I'm doing uh, just a quick quick sculpting or well, quick drawing here like, how do I want to have this happening Just to see how this is going to be ending up. So, yeah. This could work. Yeah. So, yeah.
now it's a quick question like how do I then introduce these segmentations probably by just you know putting an empty bottom of it maybe like like so so it's only shitting from the outside it's like only feathers from the outside and then this side is going to be blank out that would not make any sense but eh, could be could be so I would have like this kind of approach so I'm a little bit experimenting here but because that's like I don't know how the still is going to be looking when I'm not you know seeing every single point of it so I'm just trying to get towards like oh do I want to have this kind of texture around the whole thing or do I want to have the texture like a little bit of because we know that you know the texture could be like around the whole bird if we want to but you know let's see so yes I could go for this kind of approach because that makes the tilling up it does give a little bit of a oh hey mark then see there So yeah, uh, let's see. Does this give a good approach? Ah, I love, I do love it though. It, it does create this nice approach. But then I need to be more precise upon how I'm gonna place those feathers on the back, on the on the back side. How do I do that then? More rough? Yeah, maybe some more rough feathers on the back on the back, like hairy. Hmm. Could be that could be it. Yeah, I'm gonna be going that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that kind of approach. So I'm gonna be zooming in and uh, can we use this? Yeah, we could, but I'd rather not. I think we could use this. Could we use it? Yeah, we could. We could go for here from here on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be first finishing off these feathers. So get everything ready here, and uh, we are gonna be rumbling. So yeah, we're gonna be to today. We're gonna be finishing, uh, fini uh, ugh. finishing up the tail so that you know the tail will look nice as beforehand. It is really problematic when the tail does not fit the right way in. So you know it looks like very strange to some people that the tail looks like this. So yeah, we're gonna be fixing that by giving by giving everybody like you know the tail that it's supposed to be. So like this. There you go. Is it on the next layer? Yes, it's on the next layer. Good. Gonna push them. So yeah, we're gonna be working on this and then you know fix fix all the co uh, problems that you know we have been leaving behind it's like uh, just taking my time just getting all the things done getting the feathers to be more recognizable it, it, alright um, the only downside here is that uh, I'm trying to do my very best on focusing it but you know sometimes you do get distracted and, it ha and that does not help a lot uh, let's see what they like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
this is not true. Don't move that. There you go. So yeah, um, I hope this, the, I hope everything just works fine now. It's just you know really problematic for me to get things done, Ugh. especially if I'm like this inten intensity. Most of the things here is like you know focusing on how to get the feathers done, and looking back on the stream like is it still steady? Is it still steady? So yeah. I should not be worrying that much to it, but you know, I like to keep my intention clean upon such a upon such a thing. So yeah. Hmm. I could go for like this and then look for that one. Uh, uh, well, well, that's problematic. So yeah. Much better. This is all sketched up, right? I mean, no, it is not. Alright, well, I would just double do this then. There you go. So yeah, um, I'm trying to do my very best upon getting the uh, feathers fixed up, but you know, this takes so much time and effort. The main problem with this is like, I need to look at how it's gonna be looking, how it's gonna be looking afterward, because I cannot see the end result just yet, because of all the feathers that I need to draw properly which you know then creates this you know friendly blank blanket for the bird itself but it does take a lot of time I also realized that I had to do some homework um, I totally forgot about that I was too much doing other stuff right? so yeah uh, tomorrow I will be doing some homework but then it would not cause anything. It's just, you know, lazy homework. Homework about, you know, doodling, prepare, uh, prepping for Sunday. So that's just lazy homework. It's like homework but less steps. It's just, you know, prepping to get everything done so that, you know, I could be able to do. I could finish it one day before. Eh, I already know what I'm going to be drawing, so that's good. Drawing homework is the best. It's one of the funniest things to ever do, actually. And I am not even honest, and I'm not even in a school, so hey, you know, it's good homework. So yeah. There you go. Getting all the outline, uh, getting all the outlines done, so that you know I can just focus on the coloring and the some of the texture work. So yeah. I'm going to be doing that. 
tomorrow and then, you know, I'm going to be still working on a mod project. I'm just going to be doing it like in the early days I'm going to be working on a, on a goblin or something, you know. It's all going to be fun and games. And I'm not going to be rushing anything. Which I like. You know the you know the funny thing is actually about this uh uh about all of this is that you know my mic is working properly this time and uh, probably the all of the you know all of the uh frame rate is still catching up so I'm happy upon that part but yeah the um the idea of you know creating so much stuff like you know graphical stuff like it's already 2.3 g uh, gigabytes yeah same here that's why i'm gonna be draw pre-drawing it just just in case because you know i'm really bad at you know keeping up with the pace so yeah i'm gonna be doing a lot of pre-stuff before beforehand so that you know you guys just you know already see the result a little bit more clearer I'm as well excited, so yeah, it's good. It's good to be excited. It's good to be, you know, doing stuff. It's much better than you know staying in my room doing nothing. <laughs> that 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 that's like, oh my god, I'm doing nothing today. <laughs> that's horrible. So yeah, I'm doing always something. I'm also planning to uh, get the uh, get the writing. Get the writing to continue. I'm planning upon getting to the uh, chapter where you know things are going to be happening. So yeah, where the plan is going to be put in, uh, where the where the whole story is all about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go focus on that part. I'm still wondering how I will be able to get towards that part. Like, how do I? you know, introduce such a chapter. But I'm thinking like, meanwhile in evil headquarters, you know, that kind of thing. Eh, it should work. It should work. It's like, you know, did this guy just return from his mission, so you know. He will be talking to the big bad to the big bad evil guy. Talking about his big bad evil plots, and then the big bad evil plot guy is gonna be telling the audience about this big and bad evil plot that he's running, this evil scheme that he's running, like, no, there is no war, you just, just, you know, there is no war, what are you talking about, war, no war here, so yeah, that's the idea at least, uh, I don't need to double check this, how this looks, yeah. How does this look like? It does look like good, but I need to then. So, what I need is to make this body follow up like this. Yes! Lash up! Yes! Alright! Now I could go for shop though. Eh, shop is fine. Shop is fine. Shop is fine. But yes. So I do need to get this and then I need to just follow up this part here until right over here. So I need to get over here some more. This way. This way the whole thing makes sense. This way the whole the whole tail makes sense. Also it's not that stiff. Because I can just you know put you another segment here right over here. Segment one. Alright. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now since that I'm walking here, since I'm doing this anyway, um let's see what I need. Let me upgrade it like that. Right here. And then put it right over there. So the feathers need to be over here. But that means that I need to expand the thickness of the tail. Just a tiny little bit.
Yes. Yes. And I can go for the I can go for the Ah nice. Nice, 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 nice. I am smart here. Woo! Alright, let's continue. Mm-hmm. So we need to exterminate this feather approach right over here around this corner. So we need to remake those. And then we can go over here and put Oh yes, we need to have a different approach here. We have a different approach here, we have a different approach here. And then this part would be then fine. No, it would not. I'm just gonna be easily doing this. Alright. Let's continue. Saving this bad boy is very important. As always. Safe. Can you save? Yes, you are saving. Good. So, uh, yeah, um, let's continue on working on the feather parts. So we want to keep this clear. So how much do we need to clear here? Well, the feathers are like that, so it should be then already like this, and then need to be cleared. Yeah. So I cannot go here to draw. Alright, let's continue. So I want over here I want a feather. Here I want a feather here, here. There you go. Ooh. Have here a feather. No. Can we just use this one? Use that one. That one. Go and go back and now continue. So I want to have this line. So I need to keep up with the line. So. Alright, let's keep up the line. There we go. Don't tell me that you like ah there you go. You're back. You're back. You're back. Good, 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 good. No shenanigans here today. Just like that, boo. Easy. Now I can just, you know, easily draw here. Oh, by the way, um, you know I have been watching this. I have been watching the show again, and uh, it turned out to be Vogue again. Huh. What are the odds? So yeah, ugh, I can no longer trust Disney with making good series. Holy shit! I'm normally very excited to watch some Disney series, but Damn, these new ones are no bueno go. Ugh. Terrible. Just trash. Well, I do like some of it, but, you know, not not the things that, you know, ugh. Ooh. Feels like a little bit, uh... Yeah. But, yeah. 
enough talk to that. Uh, let's see. Since no one said it, I had I I feel like medieval setting era with goblins. I'm gonna draw a member of the goblin mafia. <laughs> I'm gonna think I'm gonna be drawing a guy who draw. Uh, yeah, lots of shows are bad. <laughs> you know, I think medieval goblins are like the the way to do things. I do like the Pathfinder version of the goblins. They remind me more of gremlin gremlins, if you get my point. So yeah, they they do look more. They are more cooler looking. So they have like jagged teeth and. Very white, um, a very white face, but a white, not like white, but wide, so like big giant, big giant jawline. So yeah, with pointy ears and eating a lot of stuff. They are fans of eating stuff. Like, you eat stuff, I will eat stuff, yes. Nom 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 nom. They have like an iron stomach and all that stuff. It's really cool. I am drawing soup. Oh my. Soup? Soup is the best soup. I hope you're drawing I hope you're drawing soup in a in a in a what do you mean? In a shoe market? Yeah. In a shoe in a shoe store. What do you mean you're drawing soup in a shoe store? I'm drawing soup in a shoe store. Why are you drawing shoe why do you draw soup in a shoe store? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to buy soup. What? Soup? Yeah, but I cannot find it. <laughs> what do you mean you cannot find it? Go to the super. I only realize that now that I've made, made an error in my perspective. Oh no. That's not good for your soup. And your soup will look like non-soup. They will look like a jerry can instead of soup. Or they will look like flat soup. Flat soup theorist. Yeah. Knowing that every single soup you draw is flat to begin with. It was all flat. <laughs> Flu the food theorist. It's gotta be complaining that, f that soup is flat. <laughs> so yeah. I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna be drawing a goblin sorcerer or something like that. Or goblin shaman. Ooh, shaman. That's also a very cool one to draw. Or just a goblin with a rocket launcher. Eh. Either way, it will work. Either way, it will work. So, yeah. Look at that. I. from. From one to zero, I'm getting I'm getting back to the right feather size. Ugh, I love it when I'm not doing things hastily. And erasing the other ones was worth it. Worth it. Yeah. The king of soup. Yeah. The best soup in the world. Ugh. There you go. Anyway. Let's see. So, um... Ew. What should I talk about? Hmm, soup? No, that's not a very good story to talk about. I should be draw. I should be focusing- Oh god, time. Damn. Already 40 minutes in. Oh, I'm not even there yet. Well, I'm getting there, but I'm not there yet. So yeah, um, I don't know what Disney wants with all the... I don't know what Disney wants, but uh, I'm finding it really, really frustrated when every single time I'm looking at a new show, it's always the same thing. Always talking about the same thing. So yeah, I, uh, I find it very very annoying when I try to watch something and then I just 
the only the only good series I need to watch now is Animal. Nay, no, not even Animal Planet. Natural Geographic Wild. That's the only place where I can watch some good and decent shows right now. I'm getting really frustrated by it. It's like I cannot watch decent shows anymore because they are all like, ugh, yucky baba, like that. They don't they don't look nice. Well, they look nice, but they are not really a good thing. Eh, they don't they don't feel good at least. Because all the plots are almost the same. That's that's how bad it's getting now. It's like, ugh, I already watched this show, even though I did not watch it. Like that, that kind of a approach. When you watch the worst of the worst kind of show beforehand, and you're now watching like a new show, and it's getting the, and and you're getting the si same Vietnam flashbacks as before, well, then you know how uh, how bad it gets. You know, it's like, hmm, you're totally ruining this character right now with this character arc. What are the odds? And why are you doing this? I have no idea. So yeah. So yeah. So yes, um let's continue with doing anything else then. Ugh. I it was just in my inside of my head I was like really thinking about it. Sorry about that. I was like thinking and normally when I think you know things get a little bit complicated and I am not want to bother you guys with that like self discussions about anything and everything so as a all right uh let's see what I'm gonna talk about I like to talk about the feathers you you see already where I'm going here with the feather approach so I'm gonna go for like a a mane on the tail is that a main? Don't know. It's just like you have a main that extends from the back from the back of the tail to the end of it to the point. That way the uh, feathers, the tail feathers, actually work well, and uh, you have this nice um, fusion between the tail, uh, between the feathers and the skin, so that it gives all the uh, uh, well. It looks nice, that's the idea. Well, I got some thoughts you have might get out before. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Ugh. Well, the good news is I do had some chocolate yesterday, now it's gone. Like a whole bloody damn 200 grams of... 200 grams of chocolate is now gone. It's like, hmm, it went missing somehow. I have no idea why. So, yeah. Does this look nice, or do I need to change things up? Do I need to change up this right here, this mess? I should. I definitely should, but I could just... I could roll with that. that that's decent enough, I guess. Fix these feathers right over here, and then continue. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks better. Um, so, I'm going to be finishing this part off. And then probably erasing the other part where I have left off. Probably. What is not fitting? This part I need to fix. So right over here I need to fix. So this part I need to fix. Yeah. This is not nice conversion. So I'm gonna be doing from this part on, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna be fixing up the parts that you know I have been doing really bad. I'm gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna be redoing that. Why am I doing that? Because it didn't look nice. It was not my uh, my approach. Was not the best approach. I'll put it that way. It was not the best of the best, and uh, I like to change, you know, my. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Yeah.
right over here. All right. So now we're going to just focus on this part. So now we have actually fixed the whole thing of, you know, it didn't look nice. So yeah. Eh. It might be uh, might be like 10 minutes of work gone to the drain, but eventually it will pay off better. It's better to fix your mistakes before they, you know, bother other people than, you know, yourself. It's better to fix your mistake right where they are, so that way you can just go straight up. What I'm now doing is actually like not fixing the mistake just yet, because I can just do it when I come back. And that way I can just then work downwards. Because I'm now working upwards, it's not very handy dandy if I do that. Because I then uh, my workflow will be ruined. Also, as you notice, I drew a line here. This line represents the uh, other feathers that you know are not uh, from this one. So yeah, um, So yeah, um I'm just going to try to get these things done. Yeah. So yeah, I think that this is actually almost there. Once I'm done, I will be done for the day. There you go. 
go. Easy as that. Oh, hey, Nick. How is everybody doing this morning? Eh, I'm good. I'm good. I have now fully converted my chocolate into nothing. So, I had chocolate, like 200 grams, but it's all gone now. There was a chocolate ladder oh, from St. Nicholas. Oh, he is the best. Best guy ever. Even my nephew said that, like, oh my god, St. Nicholas, he's the best. Yeah, I know, right? He got the. Uh, he got he got a new he got a new a new uh action figure from Captain America. Oh yeah. He was he was bragging about it. And then I let him play like uh so that was yesterday, I let him play like uh I let him play Skullgirls. Eh, yeah. I let him play a fighting game and he really liked it. And so he did also like uh, House of Dead in yes, he like oh my god this game is cool. So yeah. My little nephew played a fighting game. He was terrible at it, but he still loved it because I put it on like very, very easy mode. So yeah, he could beat everybody. But of course, I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him I put it on very, very easy mode. <laughs> oh damn! 2 a.m. for writing. Oh damn! That's loud. That's late. Let's take a look at it. All right, uh, let's take a look at it. So yes, this will work. All right, this will look nicely. Should I now continue fixing the last part of it? Yes, I should. Because codes, I'm ready to do that. I feel like. A nap is always sound like a good idea. Boo, naps. Sugar nap. You know, naps are always the best things you can have in life. You know, naps. They always come in handy. Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. So now I'm moving this one up. Sweet. There you go. I hope everything looks nice on my end, the screen, you know, so that all, all of you lovely people can enjoy it. I'm always trying to keep up with the best quality, but you know, sometimes, you know, YouTube can be a real pain in the ass when it comes to these things. So I hope you all do uh, like to enjoy, uh, do enjoy. So I'm gonna be probably need to put these layers beyond, uh, beneath the tail. Yes, I do. Interesting. Huh. I never knew. Well, now I know. I need to put this on the on the bottom side of the. I need to put it beneath the tail. Right, well, I'm gonna be putting this off, and then I will be stopping. Because you know, I have to do it. I want to see the end result, so yeah, I'm, I'm motivated right now. Really motivated to fix this. So yeah, um, uh, so yeah, I have been playing like today. I've been playing a game which I really like. It's like D and D, but then you know, out of made of made out of cardboard. Where you can customize and create your own abilities and heroes. It was quite fun. It's quite fun to play. But yeah, I think uh, this Sunday I will, this Saturday I will do the Temtem again, probably. With Bro Brickstone, yeah, Bro, yeah, yeah, Bro Brickstone, best hero ever, created by many. To do his job. Duty. A rock or rock hat. <laughs> so yeah, this whole thing, you know, this whole 
this whole drawing. It already is now like 50, 35, 36 hours of work. And that's just the drawing part. So, because of this might be like a big, giant, time-consuming thing, you know, drawing. It is not that you don't get overstressed, you don't get overworked. And why is that? I don't know, because I only spend like one hour a day on it? Yes, that's exactly why. Normally when you don't like to do things, like, you know, fixing stuff, or... Uh coming with a problem, things don't fit, things don't look like they uh, they are uh, they are in the right proportion of, or you come across something like an error or something goes back down it's always handy dandy to just you know put, uh, stay away from it, like you know put some distance between you and the problem and then you know take take, take some time off like do read a book or watch a movie or go out with some people, whatever. It it creates this um it creates this uh stress relief and you need that stress relief to clear think clearly. Because you are constantly do trying to fix your problem and you don't know how, it creates a lot of stress and uh, stress is not good for thinking. It's good for quick thinking, but not good for like thoughtful thinking like Hmm, if a bird has feathers but it does not fly, fly, why is then considered a bird? And then, you know, you need to look that up and you realize, like, oh, it's because of the axe and it's because of their, because they are like, oh, yes, okay, so their whole biology system is different than from a lizard. Ah, I see. They are warm blooded lay axe, and that's how you consider it a bird. Technically, platypus is a diff different story, but you know that's why it's considered a. It's also considered a mammal because of the ability to nurse its children with milk. You know, normal birds don't do that. Normal birds are like retarded. They feed their children food, and then first eat half of it, and then give the other half to the other person. Ugh, yikes! It's like here, have my shit that I just eat for you. Ah yes, I thought the best hero was Big Boy Steve. <laughs> yeah, but you know, in Temtem we have not Big Boy Steve yet. We need to find him yet. We uh if I'm correct I have I have I have Stone Hat. I have uh what were the other ones? Uh oh yeah Pink Larry, yes, the one and only Pink Larry. Oh, so scary. And Zap Demon. Don't forget Zap Demon. So yeah, why do you call it an weasel we have? Which is also nice. Because he looks like a weasel, I named him. I named him Weasel. It's easy mode. Just, you know, like somebody who's just been smoking weed all day and it's like, ah, uh, how am I going to call these people? Yeah, let's call him Weasel. Mm-hmm. Very original name right there. Oh, such boldness, such challenge. So yeah, and then you have and you have also Brick Bro Stone. Yeah, the legendary trainer. So yeah, probably need to find a fish and call him Big Boy, a uh, Big Boy, a uh, Big Boy Steve. You know that that would be awesome. I still need to find a way to get online fixed, so that's also a thing from EC. Uh, sometimes it, the servers are out. But yeah, I could try to stream also some online games of EC as well. Impossible Creatures, where Big Boy Steve is our starring hero. Where you also need to fight the Trigger Army. And uh, you, can have, uh, you can have support with uh, the Cult of Crow if you want to. You, know. you can also play as the Cult of Crow. So yeah, you have like a lot of games that are so much fun to play around with. I do love, you know, the games that, you know, I play. They they are really cheering me up all the time, like, ha, this is so stupid, why is it working? I don't know. Mathematics, I guess. So yeah, it's really nice that I have like 
a variety of games that I love to play. Some, some games are hard to play, some games are lovely to play, but some games don't stream well. Because YouTube has a different uh, approach upon streaming, so yeah, uh, some games don't work that way. There you go. Alright, um, let's see, what do we have here? So, this looks nice. This looks like a decent uh, drawing already. So yeah, we have now completed the body. Oh well, the feathers around the bo uh, around the top section of the bo uh, of the of the tail wing, which is a good and um, which is good because now we actually have made some progress here. And uh, to fix the last problem with it is that we need to put this part of the tail wing. We need to actually put it below the uh, uh, below the tail wing itself. So. That it is so that it doesn't so that it does not overlap so that we can actually then just use the uh, masking options to f uh, not masking but some sort of masking option to fix the last uh, parts where you know we get rid of some of the drawing parts that we don't need so that we don't have to destructively uh, edit our art because. It's really terrible if you're doing the destructive way because you know destructive it doesn't come back, so you cannot control Z it then anymore. So yes, um let's take a big picture look so that we can see everything. And I mean like everything. Um so yeah, we can now see that this thing looks nice. We can also see how it looks and what it does. So yeah. Ta da This also gives a better look of, you know, the the um allow me to just do this on the body. Um big size. So because we now have like a fluent uh, uh, a very you know uh movement of the arrow, so the tail moves like with it instead of you know beforehand it was like changed up and back again and then it didn't look well because of the uh, connection points were missing so the tail connection points were missing uh, very much uh, in most of the cases so because we now fixed that part this looks way more natural than beforehand okay does everybody get that so that's why that this is why I did this Beforehand, we did not have the connection. So before we had this, uh, let me just pick up a little bit. Uh, let me just do a quick, 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 quick look up. Um, hold on, hold on. Where is he? Where is our friend? Ah, there he is. So beforehand, we had. The Beforehand, we had this. <clears throat> the problem with this part over here, uh, I can zoom in right, right? I can zoom in properly. Alright, cool. So I can zoom in now. Yeah. So because we had this problem that uh, came across the bottom side of it did not connect well with the other side so it had a little bit of a strange uh, look towards it and the tail was missing which means that if the creature would look like this it would not add up with the back line of the crystals because I cannot draw a straight line uh, I cannot draw a line downwards with this um, it feels really strange, and I mean like really, really strange. But by, uh, but by fixing that, by fixing up the, by fixing up the streamline, it now connects with the back of it. So it connects now with the back, and because it can connect, because it is connected, but with the back, it actually, it actually fixes up the problem that people are like. 
This looks very strange. Uh, oh, this looks normal for this creature. So that's the idea. So it gives a more better approach towards it. I hope, at least, that's uh, that's the idea. So uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching for today, and uh, I hope I'll I'll see you all next time. And until then, have a nice day. Bye.